the main question many people ask is how does information or too much of it cause mental stress and this is actually true that information if not handled well can cause mental stress this is an example that i'll give it to you if you have too much information about the negative side of a certain political candidate of a certain candidate you are likely to develop a negative attitude towards that person but suppose we have a competition and there are two candidates who are running for the same post now you may take side because you love a certain candidate more than the other one and because they're in a competition a lot of information will be designed to make sure that a certain candidates get an upper hand in the competition and both teams strategic communication teams they will always work towards ensuring that their candidate has got an upper hand and therefore many messages are designed from both parties to ensure that their candidate gets an upper hand and this information must not be necessarily true Sometimes it could be propaganda or mal information or information that can be used to undermine the other candidate. However, how you take those pieces of information into yourself can end up causing some mental stress, especially when you feel so much excited that your candidate must win, must carry the day and therefore you develop a certain negative attitude but most of the time when you hear information that is now against your candidate and you hear that information for quite some time and for a long time you start developing what we call mental stress but this is how you can avoid it ensure that you don't listen to negative information of your candidate more often Ensure that you can listen to one, inf one piece of information that comes to you that shows some, a certain judgment of your candidate, maybe giving you a, a, a platform from where you can, you can make a smart judgment on the same. However, when you listen to the information more and more and more that is negative about your candidate, you end up feel like that candidate is actually losing. And maybe that is not necessarily true the voting itself is the determining factor about the winning or losing of a certain candidate and therefore it is very important for you to always keep checks and balances within yourself how much information do you consume as a person about the other candidate against your candidate and how much information do you feel that you can accommodate about your candidate as opposed to the other candidate so it is very very important for you to always have checks and balances don't sleep over wake up over all that negative information keep yourself safe lock yourself inside make a decision and make sure that you know who you're voting for or who you are you have preferences over and carry the day with that line it is not a do or die always accommodate other people's views maybe in a working environment ensure that you accommodate each other you know you are acting like a family together a family that has people who vote for this person and the other one vote for the other person and you actually you remain a family by the end of the day so actually don't take that information too serious that it causes mental stress to you always have an allowance in your mind that your candidate might lose and the other candidate might win and therefore have that mental preparedness that you are ready for anything and that way you avoid that mental stress and that is very very important those are just quick tips on how you handle too much information too negative information and how you can actually manage the whole thing about campaigning for a certain person or making sure that a certain candidate win and carries the day always know that your candidate can win or may not win and that one solves all the stress that you have